Hello, wonderful grandchildren. Have you ever heard of naughty toes? I haven't either. But we're going to read about them today in this story about two sisters who are very different. Naughty Toes by Anne Bronwell, illustrated by Teresa Murfin. My sister, Belinda, is a ballerina. I, Chloe, am not. When we go to Dana's dance shop to pick out our leotards, shoes, and socks, Belinda picks classic pink and white. I pick red and purple and green. Are you sure? asks mom. I'm sure, I say. It has style. I say. But the next day in class, I'm not so sure. Madame Mina walks around the room and looks at our feet. Point, she says. Turn out, she says. Good toes, she says to Belinda. Naughty toes, she says to me. Madame Mina claps the beat while Mr. Tiempo plays the music on his sunny yellow piano. One, two, three, one, two, three. Somehow, I'm always on four. Naughty toes, I hear above the notes of the piano. Before our next class, Dad does our hair in front of the mirror. He brushes Belinda's hair straight back into a bun, all neat and tidy. She looks like a swan. Mine sticks out all over like dandelion fuzz. Dad sighs a long sigh as he tries to tuck in the ends. Never mind, I say. It's unique, I say. In dance class, we do expressive dance. Sway like flowers, says Madame Mina. Flutter like butterflies. It's hard to be a flower when you need to go to the bathroom. Float like clouds, says Madame Mina. And I spin around the room like a dust cloud, clap like a thundercloud, whoosh like a rain cloud, smack right into Anthony. What were you thinking? asks Madame Mina. I was a cloud with gusto, I say. Before I hang my head, I think I see Mr. Tiempo smiling. Your palms are spotlights, says Miss Madame Mina, shining brightly on your face. I wave mine around so they'll sparkle on me like a disco ball. Chloe, says Madame Mina in a very loud voice. It's jazzy, I say in a very quiet voice. Mr. Tiempo is definitely smiling now. After class, Mom takes us out for ice cream. Belinda orders plain vanilla and eats it without drips. I order pink bubblegum swirl and try to eat it very carefully, but somehow it spills. Maybe I should have chosen the pink leotard after all. When it's time for the show, Belinda is the fairy princess. She wears a blue sequin tutu 
and turns twirls on the stage. I am a rock. I am in all gray and stand still on the stage. It is hard to show spirit when you are a rock. Afterward, we go backstage. There is a bouquet of pink roses waiting for Belinda. It has a note that says, For my prima ballerina, with love, from Madame Mina. For me, there is a cardboard box tied up with red string. It has a note that says, follow your feet. I peek inside. My sister Belinda is a ballerina. I am not. I am a tap dancer. Well, Chloe had naughty toes, according to Madame Mina, but she found her place as a tap dancer. I enjoyed that book. Hope you did too. I love you guys. Bye-bye.